Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog by me, Neil, from Explore the Outdoor. Last week, this time last week, I did a video about the sycamore gap tree and the shock and disbelief that it was cut down. Um, we know that the tree was felled on the 27th of September and was discovered on the 28th of September. We now know there's a few updates, which you might have heard about, but I thought, you know, follow on from the last video I did on it, we'll, we'll recap and see what's going on. Now we know it's an ongoing investigation, so we have to be careful what we say about this. We know that there was a boy, 16, arrested, uh, but then released on bail, uh, pending further investigation. We know that there was a second suspect arrested, a man in his 60s, uh, and subsequently released again. Um, we know that the incident, um, the, the, the tree was cut down by a chainsaw, which we now know that on Sunday, um, reports uh, from officers seized a chainsaw in relation to that and in linked with the 60 year old, uh, the man in the 60s um, were linked with that. Now, experts have said that the given the age of the tree, it's highly unlikely that it might grow back um, from the stump. It might regrow um, reroot again um but yeah i don't think that might happen on this occasion but we never know we we hold hope um there's loads of ideas going around about what to do there's a gofundme page that's set up at the moment and as of sunday i think there was over five thousand pound probably more now um, i haven't checked but uh, sycamore trees generally if they're felled you know can regrow shoots from them and, and regrow but it's going to take at least a hundred a couple of hundred years to get to where it was that's, and that's if if the if the growth is successful people have been flocking there to see it to, to get souvenirs from it and it's highly recommended that you don't do that Someone's actually left a voodoo doll there uh, with a note attached to the voodoo doll saying um, to curse the culprit. So whoever's done it, they've put a curse on the culprit. What the curse is, I, I do not know. But we know if we break it down that the police has said whoever is found guilty of doing this will be dealt swiftly and appropriately. The felling of the famous tree in Northumberland has shocked many after it was found um, on its side on the morning of 28th of September. Officers are treating the overnight incident as a deliberate act of vandalism and launching a full investigation. So we know that they're going to charge the person possibly on um, uh, a deliberate act of vandalism. And, you know, the National Trust will therefore go about their further um, prosecution in, in that aspect. So a lot of you commented on my last video and there's a lot of um, positive comments, but there was a lot of other comments. I said, it's just a tree, get over it. Yeah, fair enough. It is just a tree. But like I said, and then um, like I replied to those comments, it might just be a tree to you, but to other people, it, it means a lot. Just like something similar to yourself. If you were passionate and cared about something and someone come along and ruined it, like your, like, I don't know, like, um, like your garden. If someone come in and trampled on your flowers, some people will say, oh, it's just flowers. But no, no, it's not. It's something that you're proud of, something that you like, something that you have grown. And with other people, it's it's a tree that is a natural beauty icon to them. A lot of photographers have photographed it and it's inspirational to some people. So it's not just a tree. It's it's inspirational to some people. It's a, it's an icon that means a lot to them. So it, it, it has saddened and shocked a lot of people. 
and it did get a lot of media uh, attention from all over the world. But we're no further forward into finding out who's done it. They're the facts, they're the updates at the moment. If anyone has got any new updates, anything I've missed, then please feel free to comment. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget, um, please give this channel a like, give it a, a subscription. You know, you don't have to pay for the subscription. It's totally free. Just hit the subscribe button. Um, a lot of you did that after the last video and I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow, helps me make better and more interesting videos. Don't forget there's loads more videos that you can check out on my channel from Explore the Outdoor, where we go across the UK and the northeast of England. Um, I was planning on going to the Sycamore Gap, but it looks really busy at the moment. And yeah, we'll see about that. But yeah, keep a lookout for all my upcoming videos. And thanks again.